Hey, welcome back everyone. In this episode, I'm gonna be going over another app which I think might help you guys out. It's called Robinhood. Now you may or may not have heard of Robinhood. Basically what Robinhood is, is a free marketplace where you can buy and sell stock. And if you didn't know this already and you're new to it and maybe you wanted to start buying and selling some sort of stocks like gold or you want to invest in Apple or Microsoft, something like that. Basically what you have to do is on all these other sites you have to pay them to make the trade for you. If you want to buy, if you want to sell, there's fees that go along with it. But with the app Robinhood, it's a well-known app, you go in there and you get free buying and selling of stocks. So if you want some stock for Apple, you just go in there and buy some Apple stock and you don't have to pay any fees, which is amazing. So recently they had a major update where they added a lot. I don't know if they got a contract or some laws changed, but they got a huge influx of really major businesses and corporations. So now they have a massive list of all these corporations that you can buy and sell. Like I said, like Apple's on here, GoPro's on here, just everything's on here. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the interface of it so you guys can see it before you try it. It's really easy, it gives you a bunch of information. One of the things that I like the most is it tells you the information about the company. Like for me, I was kinda looking for cheap penny stocks, something that's relatively cheap because I don't wanna put a whole lot into it. So they do have cheaper stocks. You can see how they're doing. They give you a graph um, up to their entire business cycle since they've been on the stock market, how well they've done from one years to five years to how however long. It shows you the cycle, how well they do. So I went in there, tried to find some cheap ones that haven't been tanking for like the last five years and I invested in them and it is ridiculously easy. So I'm gonna go through the app and show you guys how to do that. And just let you guys know, if you use my promo code right there, if you use that, you get free stock. So, free money. So, why not? And you, basically, you have a one in 150 chance on getting a stock of Berkshire, Hathaway, Apple, or Facebook. 1 in 60 chance of getting Ford or energy transfer, but there is a 100% chance of you getting something free. So there's, like I said, there's, there's no reason not to use the promo code. I used someone else's promo code and got free stock, so I mean, why not? Now if you do have a promo code or if you are using mine, make sure you do it before you download or in the process of downloading the app or on the website because I'm not sure if you can get the promo code after you already downloaded it. Let's start by opening up Robinhood. And once you open this up, you have the ability to sign in using your fingerprint if you do have that ability on your phone. So once you log in, this is the screen that you're going to see. Um, right down here, I'm going to swipe through a few just so you can see. But they give you little note cards that are telling you what is happening in the world. They're telling you anything about any major stock changes, like if a stock has gone down or up a certain percentage. And right above that, we've got the graph. This shows you all of your stocks together, how they're doing in the last day, week, month, three month, one year, and all. So if you have money in different stocks like I do, it shows how they're all doing together as a whole in this graph. So if one of my stocks went down, but the others went up more than that one went down, the graph is going to go up. And right above that, as I switch through these, it'll show you what the percent change and how much change it was in whatever I clicked on. So if I click over on three months, it's going to say how much it changed and what percentage it changed within the last month. And of course, at the very top, it has the total amount that my stocks are worth, not the total amount that I have put into it. 
And if you scroll down, you can see they do have cryptocurrencies. That's part of the new update. So you can watch uh, Bitcoin on here too. And further down, this shows all of your stocks. So these are my four stocks that I have money in. Doesn't look like it's going too well today. And further down, you can create a watch list of popular stocks that you would like to look at. These are all default, uh, Apple, Twitter, Tesla, Netflix, and so on. You can just keep an eye on these just in case you want to know how well the market is doing or you do want to quickly click on it and buy and sell based on what you see. So if we click on one of these, I will click on Kronos Group. This is a stock that I currently own. So once you click on here, it kind of looks like your home screen, but this one is specific for the Kronos Group stock that I hold. You can go through here for the weeks, months, years, and see how well it's doing since it opened up. And you can also change at the very far right side if you do want it in the candlestick form or you do want it in the graph form. If we scroll down a little bit, it tells you how many shares that you have, the average cost of those shares, how much it's valued at, and your portfolio diversity. This shows you the percentage that it takes up out of all the stocks that you own. So in my case, it's taking up 72.2% of the money that I have since this one is worth 1027 and my total is like 14 something. So this is a big portion of my portfolio. And a little further down today's return, it's down today 47 cents, but total since I got it, it is up 47%. So I got an extra $3.29 just on this stock. And more statistics down here, you can see the price that it opened up at, today's highs, lows, market caps, volume, all the stuff that you would want to see for your handful of stocks. And further down here, we do have more news articles related to what it is, but there's more on that when I scroll down a little bit further. Right here, we have what people are saying. There's only six people on this one, analysts, that are saying, 50% uh, of them are saying buy, 33 are saying hold, and 17% are saying sell. And a little further down, it tells you what this stock is being mentioned in. So when people search for technology or most popular under $25, health, medical, Canada, this is what pops up in those. Scrolling further, you can see their Q4 earnings here. You can also see what people also bought when they bought this stock. You can see the volatility, the buying power that you currently have. I currently have two cents left. Initially, I put in $10 from my bank account just so I could do some penny stocks, some low-end trading. And currently, I've used all of that except for two cents. And below that, it says your history from the stock. So... All I've done is bought this stock on July 3rd for $6.98, and it's only one share. And this is the about section. This is the cool part that I was talking about. This tells you everything that you would want to know about the company, the CEO, where the headquarters is, when it was founded, its amount of employees, and then it gives a little synopsis down here that tells you about the company. Now, I like this because I'm not really up to date on a lot of these penny stocks so i want to come in here and if it's at a good price i'm gonna see if it's been doing well or if it hasn't been doing well or if i've heard something about it i can come down here like this one this is cannabis and cannabis is becoming more and more popular it's becoming legalized so i feel like eventually this is going to go up and i'm gonna make money on it so if you're looking at a stock for the first time this is the same screen that you're gonna see so if we click on the green trade button and you can buy or you can sell if you already own the stock, I'll click on buy. And this is what you're going to see if you do want to buy something. You can see how much you have available. Obviously, I don't have enough to buy something, but it's going to look exactly the same. You can click how many shares you want. If you want two or if you want nine, it'll say how much it's going to cost you per the market price that it's currently at. And then you just have to press the green check mark and you can buy the stock. You can also change the order types up in the right hand corner. You can click on market and this is what it'll give you if you already know the information and you just wanna buy it right now. 
you can click on limit price and this will specify the max that you're willing to pay for the share. Stop loss, that's a price above the current price that converts your order to a market order. You can also do stop limit. This is also above the price that converts your order to a limit order. So if we go back to the home screen and down here at the bottom, we can click on the little search icon. This will bring up the search menu. You can click up top and you can search for whatever you want. Uh, if you scroll through here, it'll just show you what the popular things are. So I'll type in APP for Apple. You can either type in uh, the name of the company or you can type in the code that it goes by. Since Apple is AAPL, I can put in Apple, the name of the company, it'll show up. Or if I put in AAPL, Apple will also show up. So if I click on Apple, this is what comes up. Just like I showed you before, all the information, the statistics, what people are saying about buying and selling, and the about section if you don't know anything about the company. And next thing down on the bottom is the little clock with the arrow, that's your history. If you click on that, it'll show you your history on what you've bought. I had a canceled one, I was thinking about buying something. Then you can see that I bought two shares of IGCC at 98 cents and then the Kronos and so on. You can see how much you bought, how many shares you bought and at what price you bought these. And all the way to the right at the bottom, you have your profile. Now, if you have some friends that want to start trading or you wanna show them this video, you can click on free stocks and it'll show you the steps that you can go through in order to create your own little promo code, send it to them so you can get free stocks and they can get free stocks. Now, if you click on banking, you can go through your banking information since you need to have a banking account tied to this so you can send money to this so you can buy things and you can also send money back just in case you had extra or you made money and you sold things you can send it back to your bank account if you click on account it'll show you everything in your portfolio what your buying power is basically how much you have left whether or not you want to withdraw the funds and your day trades. And that is just about it, guys. That is the app, that's how it works, how you can buy, invest, start trading stocks, whatever you want. Like I said, it's super easy. Like, there's no fees involved. You just click buy or click sell once you get your account set up on there, and it's just that easy. And I really hope this helped you guys out, this along with my other app review. If you wanna watch that, it's right up there. It's the Get Upside app. And I'm almost at a landmark, and when I make it to a landmark, I'm going to put a review video. Since that video came out, they have updated it, so there's it's available in more states. So if you guys want to watch that now, you can go ahead and watch that, or wait for my review, or my update review video on that. So stay tuned for that, guys. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so you can get some behind-the-scenes stuff that hasn't happened yet, and unreleased content that no one else has seen. And if you haven't already, watch that video. And if you watch that video, watch that video. And if you've watched both of those videos already, make sure you subscribe down here. Yeah, watch this stuff, it's awesome. And if you've watched that, and that, and subscribe, 